Now, pH junction diode is utilized in a lot of ways. The basic application is in the construction of rectifier. Okay, so right now we are doing applications of pH junction diode, and the basic one which we have to study is rectifier. Now, what is rectifier? Rectifier is a device which converts AC to DC. That is AC signals to DC signal. See the small mobile phones which you carry in your hands right now these mobiles work on the charging of what 5 volt dc supply but when you attach the charger with the socket you are getting a 220 volt ac so how this thing is converted into this first of all 220 volt ac is converted into 5 volt ac this is done by transformer which you have already studied right now 5 volt ac would be converted into 5 volt DC this is done by rectifier which we are studying right now but this voltage is kind of fluctuating in nature so this fluctuating is converted into constant DC or stable DC which is done by a filter circuit so these three basic components are always there in any charger okay now once we study about rectifier that is with the device which converts AC to DC we'll move on to triodes which are basically transistors the first one is called half wave rectifier I need a bigger space so I'm removing this right now we're doing half wave rectifier okay now why it is called half wave rectifier see this is a symbol of what transformer this is the AC source which is to be rectified here we have a diode and it is connected with load resistance RL and across load resistance we have taken out output okay now how it is working consider input signal or input AC source like this and we have to talk about output source when the when this thing is positive this thing is negative this remains positive this remains negative so what will happen the diode will be in forward bias state and diode will conduct so there will be flow of current and the output will be obtained as there was input when during negative half cycle this thing is negative so diode goes in negative bias state and it will not conduct so i'm not going to get any current during next positive half cycle it will be again forward bias state and next no current so this is how half of the cycles of AC is converted into DC. This is input AC and this is output DC, but it is what fluctuating in nature. Okay. So this is how diode is used as rectifier, but this type of construction converted only half of the waves from AC to DC. So this is called half wave rectifier so in order to convert it into full wave rectifier what we do we do some small changes in the circuit see this is what we do we place another diode here this is diode d1 this is diode d2 and the output is taken from the center this is load resistance rl across which output is taken okay now during the positive half cycle the diode d1 is in forward bias state so d1 will conduct and you will get a current flow in this direction and there will be an output during negative half cycle this is reverse bias, but d2 becomes or d2 comes into forward bias state so d2 will conduct and we will again get output from d2 so you will be having another value then positive half cycle d1 conduct and then d2 will conduct so this type of circuit diagram converted the whole cycle into dc1 though this is dc but this is again fluctuating in nature so this thing converted entire wave into dc so this, this is called full wave rectifier right so these are two basic applications of p injection diode so how do you explain the working see when any such type of questions i have explained this term to you and we have i'm doing it again when this type of question comes in your exam you have to explain it in three basic ways three steps which is principal construction working principle is rectifier works on the principle of diode that is diode conducts easily when it is forward biased it does not conduct when it is reverse biased construction then you draw the circuit diagram and you mention all the points which are that is transformer why do we use transformer we could have attached these wires straight away to the source right 
usually diodes are used at work with very small value of voltages like 2 volt 3 volt 5 volt right and this ac supply is very large so it has to be converted into lower value of ac first and then it has to be transformed into the dc one that is why we put a transformer now uh, the construction we are talking about construction part so you draw the circuit diagram and you mention the uses of each component use ac source transformer diodes right and load resistance and then you draw the working during positive half cycle you have to mention the graph and then you will be explaining in step by step that is during positive half cycle diode d1 is in forward bias state it will conduct you will be getting output from the resistor but during reverse negative half cycle d1 will be reverse biased but d2 will be in forward bias state now and d2 will be conducting and hence you will be getting the output so this is the application of diode.